MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. Mark, very impressive, a new product to Mazak's portfolio. Easy to see what it is, but can you give us a bit of detail about the machine? Yeah, this is our Variaxis i 10 t and it's the largest in the Variaxis range. When you came last time, Paul, you saw the very impressive i700. i700 having a 40 taper capability. This is with a 50 taper capability. So, I mean, I can see here, obviously, milling, this machine turns as well, important to mention. Is there anything else in terms of milling and turning you can do? Well, this also has four five axis simultaneous capability, but also has the ability to do a lot of other complex operation. On this demonstration, we're also showing power skiving, so its ability to generate a gear form within the, the inside diameter of the component. So what about the size and weight of part that you can actually manufacture on here, Mark? The very axis I-1050, uh, can hold a component with a diameter of 1.25 meters and also a height of 900 millimeters but a staggering two tons in weight. You can get two tons on that table and machine? Yes. yes. The construction of the table has a roller gear cam on both sides of the trunnion axis and a direct drive spindle for the, for the C-axis. And how fast would you turn let's say a, a component like this? The direct drive motor gives us 500 rpm 37 kilowatts and 3,000 newton meters of torque, so it's very capable of heavy duty machining. And Mazak have obviously thought a lot about how the machine's laid out. We're standing inside it now. Do they pay a lot of attention to that in the build of their machines? Yeah, the ergonomic design is very important for us and to get, over, uh, to get access to the machine. We're standing underneath, you can see here, the roof cover. So the roof cover fully retracts automatically for overhead crane loading. And, and there is lots of talk around the market technically about construction of five axis machines. Where does this machine stand out? Well, this machine is a gantry box construction. So as we bring the Y axis forward, the Y axis is fully so, uh, supported and there's no compromise even at the full extent of the Y axis. When we're milling, Mark, what can we achieve with this spindle or what is the speed of the spindle? This spindle is a standard spindle with a 10,000 RPM. Um, but we do also have uh, variations for this. For example, we have a high torque 5,000 RPM spindle that outputs a staggering 714 Newton meters of torque, and also a high speed spindle at 15,000 RPM that outputs 56 kilowatts of power. But also, it's about the spindle choice. We can offer uh, 50 taper in, uh, in CAT or MASS. We can also offer Big Plus. We can do Capto C8 and also HSK 100. Now, with this quality of machine, I mean, is it, is it a direct drive spindle? Uh, yes, the table on this is a direct drive spindle and the uh, uh, mill spindle is an integral spindle motor. So it's an integrated spindle motor on the milling side. Now, looking at what we've got on the table, that does give us a really good idea of what you might be looking to manufacture if you buy a machine like this. Is there much of a demand in the UK to machine components of this size and weight? Yes, there is. You can see the example that we've got on here, very much targeted at the aerospace. And that's probably um, the main focus for this machine. But it also appeals to a lot of other industries, such as oil and gas, large valve manufacture, and anybody doing large size five axis components, and also requiring done in one operation. So turning, milling, seeing the complete part machine in one operation. I think that's a very important point that you make there, because if you look at something of this size, traditionally you may have to turn it on a, a very large lathe, and then you'd have to put it onto a machine or, or a big mill to do the other operations. But what we're really saying here is on the, the 1050 you can do the lot. That's right. So you have the ability to reduce manufacturing costs by lowering uh, the time it takes for a workpiece to go through the shop. In one visit to a machine it can be completed in all its operations. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Paul. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.